Hi everyone, in this video, we're going to be going over a quick walkthrough of the navigation in EasyOffice. So, um, we have two major forms of navigation in our system. We have the left navigation bar, which lists out all of the multiple widgets that are available that you can access through EasyOffice. And we have the more menu, which lists out additional features. Um, or in the navigation bar, you can see the dashboard, which will take you back to this central dashboard. Items, locations, groups, work orders, members, purchase orders, and in more, we have additional options. Uh, you also have the option to customize this navigation based on your needs. We're going to be covering that in a separate video. Um, then we have the top navigation bar. Over here, you have your company name. You can always replace this with the logo of your company by going into company settings. We have the search bar with a filter functionality. If you click on this filter, you can select a certain module and then it's only going to search within that particular module. We have the quick add button through which you can quickly add assets as stock and inventory from the top navigation. We have settings. Um, the company settings take you to the general settings um, of the company settings, the add-ons, which are more around additional features and integrations. Uh, this My settings, which are miscellaneous settings that pertain to how the system works for you. And billing, which is simply the billing and payment information. This is only available to the account owner. Next, we have the availability calendar. As the name suggests, it's basically a calendar which shows you in what dates certain items are available as well as on what dates they're reserved. So that's that. We have the cart icon, which will take you to the carts page. We're going to be discussing carts in a completely separate module. And lastly, we have the bell icon. The bell icon contains all the notifications that a user can have. You can also customize this bell icon to reduce it or increase it notifications based on whatever your company needs are. And lastly, we have our name and similar other settings that come along under it. So that's the walkthrough on our navigation. Next, we have the dashboard, which is just, as the name just a dashboard that shows you different key performance indicators and metrics that can help you determine how useful it is for you to use EasyOffice. So on the dashboard, you can see that we have a set of KPIs that we've set up. You can edit these KPIs. To edit the dashboard, you simply need to click on the edit button. Uh, you can add a new header. A header is basically a title text that allows you to section your dashboard. So let's say we want to create two sections for a dashboard. The first one is analytics and we want to create another header and call it services. So we can simply just drag this down to where we need it. And now we've pre basically created two sections in the dashboard. You can, to add more widgets to the dashboard, you can click on the add edit icon, add edit veg widgets button. And then this gives you a listing of all the widgets that are available for you to choose from. You can also move around widgets simply by pressing and holding them and then dragging them up or down based on when it, wherever you need them. And then once you're done, you can click on the done button and your dashboard is updated accordingly. And that's basically a quick walkthrough of how our navigation and dashboard works in EZO.